after the Second Battle of Manassas in 1862, Robert E. Lee said, pointing to Fort Ward, I could not tell my men to take that fort when they had nothing to eat for three days. We next have a picture of Battery Rogers, one of the forts in Alexandria along the river near the current day Woodrow Wilson Bridge. This installation had its own hospital, slaughterhouse, and barracks. Armaments included two 500 pound parrot guns, excuse me, that's five 200 pound parrot guns, and a 15-inch Rodman gun, the heaviest type of cannon in the Union arsenal. The Rodman gun could fire a 302-pound shell. We next have a closer look at the Rodman gun in Battery Rogers. No doubt the Union felt they needed this when the South almost turned the naval balance of power around when it was the first to commission an operational ironclad. On the afternoon of March the 8th, 1862, the CSS ironclad Virginia, known to history as the Merrimack, sailed toward the entrance of the James River, attacking the wooden ships of the Union fleet. Panic spread throughout Washington as news of the destruction of the wooden ships flowed into the city. Washingtonians waited to be shelled by the ironclad monster. An officer asked President Lincoln, who is to prevent her from dropping her anchor in the Potomac and throwing her 100-pound shells into this room or battering down the walls of the Capitol? Lincoln had replied, the Almighty. But together with members of his cabinet, Lincoln continued looking anxiously down the Potomac for a sight of the CSS Virginia. Well, it was not only the city of Alexandria that suffered during the war, but all of Northern Virginia. Crops were trampled, fences were used for firewood, livestock was confiscated. Most of the standing trees were cut to supply building materials or facilitate the firing of artillery. Rifle trenches and ammunition bunkers were dug along the ridges and high ground. Barns, outbuildings, and private homes were occupied, damaged, or destroyed to accommodate the needs of the Union Army. We next have a picture of Long Bridge across the Potomac River, standing on the current site of the 14th Street Bridge, and in the back you can see the Capitol Dome. The first Union troops crossed the Potomac River into Alexandria County which we now know as Arlington County, during the early morning hours of May 24, 1861. Some troops went by water. Others crossed the Potomac River on these bridges. The only opposition encountered were a few scattered pickets. We next have another view of the Long Bridge from the Washington, D.C. side, by the time the first Union troops arrived in Alexandria County, Confederate sympathizers had left. Our next photo is Georgetown, seen from the Alexandria County side. With the arrival of Northern troops in 1861, many Georgetown Southerner had departed into Virginia. By July 1861, many thought the first battle about to be fought at Manassas, Virginia, would end the war. There was a carnival atmosphere. People took picnic baskets and headed out to watch the battle. The battle was fought on July the 21st, 1861. Cannon fire could be heard in Alexandria. It wasn't a Union victory, it was a decisive Confederate victory. And Union troops were soon straggling into Alexandria and Washington. A Union sympathizer wrote, most of them have not eaten since Sunday morning. Our doorsteps and curbstones are full from one end of the street to the other. Two stragglers advise us to leave immediately, for they thought Beauregard would be in Alexandria 
before nightfall. We next have a picture of Fort Runyon. It was located astride the Washington, Alexandria, and Columbia Turnpikes, a half mile south of the Long Bridge. The fort was built in July 1861. It was the largest fort in the defenses of Washington. It covered 12 acres and was completed in seven weeks. It was a pentagonal earth and timber fort and was approximately the same size as the modern day Pentagon. And interestingly, the Pentagon now stands on almost the exact location of Fort Runyon. A history marker identifies where the fort once stood. Finally, we have a picture of a blockhouse on Arlington Heights, one of 22 defensive structures built in Alexandria County during the Civil War. Well, I hope you've enjoyed seeing pictures of the Civil War and the effect that it had on Northern Virginia. We hope you will join us at our website, www.timetravel21.com, to learn more about this period and our new book, Alexandria, 1861 to 1865. We'd love to hear from you, so please drop us a line at timetravel21 at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.